Hello and welcome to The Darkest Hour. My name is Pipe Crime, and today we're looking at The Evil Within. And I didn't have a good, very good start to The Evil Within. I haven't played it yet because I spent all of the day when it came out with various problems outside of the game trying to get the game to run in full screen. No, it'd start and minimise to my taskbar and just stay there. Then it'd crash. I wasn't too happy about it. However, as you can see, managed to fix it through no help from anybody just managed to get it to work and if anyone needs has the same problem drop me a message and we can fix that but let's jump straight in now what I have looked at already is this menu system and the options screen but we'll have another look at it right English French Italian Dutch Espanol whatever the hell that is I've no idea Pol Polish and that's all your languages. I think you got the same for voice. So look. Yeah. English. Graphic content enabled. What the hell would you disable that for? Subtitles. Hide show. I don't know. Not sure about that. Let's just leave it at default for now. Life gauge equip icon. Auto. Always. Disabled. Auto. Partner life gauge. Partner. Is there co-op missions in this or something? Tutorials. Show tutorials, yeah. Enemy alert icon casual. Enemy alertness icon. Interaction icon. Oh, you can fuck with all of this. This is a good menu system to be fair with uh, icon on casual. Well, as soon as I've never played it, I'm gonna leave all this on. But it's good to know that I can turn all that off. Okay, controls. Obviously, I'm gonna be playing on the controller. That's where you can see controller prompts. I think if I use keyboard, yes, it does. It changes automatically. But we're gonna stick with the controller because games like this, third-person games, I do believe third-person games are better with the controller. First person, it's arguable they're better with mouse and keyboard. However, that's my personal opinion, and everybody's opinion is unique to them. So, key bindings. I can change it. Can I change my... No. I can't. Shit. I can't actually change the button. I can only use... Um, you can change your keyboards, but you can't change the control, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm very sorry, I've not finished work, I'm kind of tired, but I've been looking forward to playing this game for about two years now, so I'm not going to let it stop me. Here we go, right, toggle sneak. Yeah, I think so. Mind you, I do like to hold it. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it on hold, I like holding it. Invert camera. Hell no, I'll leave that on normal. Camera sensitivity. I guess we'll leave that on default, but I may need to change that. We'll see what happens if it's terrible. Vibration on. Don't get that on mouse and keyboard, do we? It's always good for survival horrors, even though I'm not sure how scary this game's going to be, but we'll see. Auto aim. Hell fucking no, man. Turn that shit off. Why do you even include that, developers, huh? Get rid of that shit. Mouse sensitivity. We'll leave that as it is for now, and that's all we get for controls. So, quickly moving on to graphics. You have brightness. Which I do believe that I did change and it's reset for some reason. So I'm going to leave it there. That's where we decided on it. Display. Please adjust the display area of the HUD and menus. Use left stick to move the arrow to adjust the display. Hmm. What's that look like? Doesn't look any different, I don't think. Actually, let me just... I'm going to leave that as normal. Yeah, because I think it's just... On, see on the bars? At the bottom? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad at 50. If it does become a pain in the ass... Because I put it on high, didn't I? So, yeah. Enough waffle about that. Yeah, just leave that as normal. You guys are free to change it however you want. Screen grain adjustment. 
they want us to see this, that's why it's 100%, so I'm going to leave it on. If it pisses me off, I will turn it off, but I want that kind of Texas Chainsaw feel anyway, because it looks like that kind of game. Hardware settings. I guess this is where your graphics options become available. Full screen enabled. Oh, yes. This was where I had my problem. The game, for some reason, defaults to a 16 by 10 ratio, and it wouldn't open for me. So I had to force... Um, it into 16 by 9 and now it works but why it would automatically default to a 16 by 10 I've no idea none of my money is 16 by 10 but it just decided to do that piss me off but hey it's working now all it's good in the world this is default I don't know which one of these I'm going to need so I'm just going to leave it on that I never know with anti Listen, who, who fucking knows which one's better than the other one Shadow quality. This is as high as it goes. It's high. Motion blur enable because I like it. SSA oh, enable because I like that as well. Reflections enabled. Fuck yeah. And that's all you get. That's all you get. So moving on to audio. We have master music voice and voice effect cinematic volume. I'm going to leave them as they are. Um, nothing seems out of place right now. Um, it may be that I do change them, but for now, everything's good. So that's the uh, options menu. Uh, we've got credits, load game, we've never played it before. And that's all it is. Uh, what I would say is before I did get to this screen, um, there was a little pop-up that said my pre-order bonus, um, which I guess if you're watching this it might not be relevant, but the pre-order bonus will be available after chapter 3 can't use it straight away but I think it was like a last chance pack or something like that which gives me a little bit of extra health and a new weapon and this that and the other which doesn't really make sense to give me all that at the beginning anyway kind of might be a waste so w when I'm at chapter 3 I'm, if I be all fucked up and dying I've got this extra shit which I'll probably be grateful for I'm hoping that I'm going to be grateful for if I don't need it in chapter 3 hey I was going to pretty order the game anyway it ain't last fuck all so Without further ado, yeah, I think brightness is good enough where it is. Happy with that. Casual. For weak and fearful, auto aiming enabled by default and slightly more ammo than normal. Hmm. Survival, standard difficulty, challenge to overcome your fears. Yes, that'll do for me, and I think I unlock you unlock harder difficulties after you complete the game. That does give more life to it, but it was the same with Resident Evil 4. You had to play it on normal to unlock the harder levels. Now, Resident Evil 4 on normal is a piece of piss you can run fucking through. That's not take, that's not saying it's a bad game. It's a good fucking game of what we're playing, but it was way too easy. I would, I'm definitely hoping this is going to be harder. So yeah, definitely straight onto survival. Before we go any further. I want to say that this game, as you s at the moment, is at 30 frames per second. And on a PC, it's a fucking joke to be defaulting and releasing games in 2014 at 30 locked to 30 frames per second. So you have to do a little bit of altering. Um, not not a hell of a lot. You've got to set some launch options in Steam, which is like one line of code and just put it in there. And then you bring the console down. You've got a console command that can change it to uh, a 60 limit rather than a 30 limit uh, and then completely open. Now they do say that if you put it to 60 limit some irregularities may occur. Um, if you unlock it completely they don't recommend that and they're not responsible for the weird shit that's going to happen. And I probably believe them, you know, if you've hard coded something for 30 p FPS and designed everything around 30 FPS then all of a sudden you've got computers that are capable of doing up to three, four, five times that who knows what's going to happen? So, but I, but I probably will whack it up to sixty because this game was too goddamn good not to do that. So I'm going to do that when we get into the game because I do genuinely want to see if there's any difference. If there's no difference, I might put it back down to thirty and just play it the way they designed it. However, I have been waffling on for a bit, so let's go. Units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3, Deacon Mental Hospital. 
184, copy. Code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy, 184. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. It said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. 131, please advise. Maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene, respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem of each of us is on the scene. Seek a memorial on is there any... Uh, God damn it! Jesus! Doesn't seem to be anyone on the roads today. Junior Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. And we're in chapter one, an emergency call. Okay, so during a cutscene, 30 frames per second is okay. And you know what? These bars when I heard they were doing that, a lot of people were saying, Oh no, I don't like that. I actually really like it. I think it looks fucking awesome. And it really sets the tone for the game. However, is it an excuse for 30 frames per second? I don't fucking think so. It doesn't look awful, but... I'm a PC gamer and I need to know the difference. So, what we've got to do is we've got to bring down the console by pressing insert. Basically, you've got to put a command into Steam to enable this console. Once you put that in, you can then press insert while in game. Actually, you can do it in the menu. And edit. once the game's launched, you can just do this. But I wanted to see the difference. And then you've got to put R underscore. You have to bear with me a second. I'm looking at another monitor while I'm doing this. Swap. Swap interval. Space. And then if you put. It's actually default to um, minus 2, which is this 30 frames per second. If I put it at 0, that will unlock the frame rate completely. I'm going to put it at minus 1, unlock the frame rate to 60. Okay. So, let's close up the console and see what that has done. Okay, what my frame counter is now telling me is that it's bumped up to about 50 frames per second. Does it look any better? Well, I can tell the difference straight away. You probably won't be able to tell the difference because of YouTube, but I can tell you that you can tell the difference. It's not massive. It's really not a massive difference, and it's definitely not running at 60 frames per second on my system, which is, you know, um, GTX 780. So, unless you have higher than that, frame rate's not amazing. And apparently there are some irregularities with the physics and things like that, but we'll see how we get on. 50 frames per second is acceptable for me, and I prefer it to 30 any day of the month I can week. So, okay, I've had a look around the car park, guys, and I've discovered that there's some cars. There's a lot of police cars considering there's no police about. What the fuck happened here? Let's have a look, shall we? 
Yeah, see, when I'm up here, it's going straight up to 60 frames per second, and you can tell the difference straight away. So, let's get inside. Smells like blood. Alright. You mean it Stay smells sharp. like blood? We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. Let the blood sniffing motherfucker stay outside. She can come with me. Oh, when I'm outside. Okay, the frame rate's gone up in here because like we've got roofs and shit, so that's good to know. I think most of the game is inside anyway. But what the fuck happened in this room? Everybody's dead. And they've been dead and dragged on it's fucking ganked. Oh dear. I mean the bars do kind of prevent you from seeing around. You've got to really use the camera and have a look around. But it definitely sets the tone. Like there's been nothing to say use control, uh, control uh, analog sticks to move or anything like that or any of the buttons. It just sort of assumes that you do that. Which you would, you know. I mean, if you've got a controller in your hand, you can use a stick to move. You know, and then we pressing, spamming blue button, going, "Why won't you move? How dare you?" Okay, that guy's taking a break. These are patients. I think that's because he's in a wheelchair. And there's a load of nurses about. Oh, there's a whole pile of fuckers here. Yeah, whoever did this. Do I think that I've got it too dark? I don't think so. Maybe. She's all fucked up too. Can I go around that? I really would like a torch. Are you injured? What happened here? It's Michael Keaton. Can't be real. Impossible. Rubik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. Well, he was about to tell us something until you put your fucking hand on him. Alright, I need this torch. Can I just, like, attach it like a badge? Just so I can walk around with a fucking light? The game obviously wants me to check the cameras, doesn't it? Okay, somebody was shooting. Oh dear. There's some vampire fucking ghost thing. I've seen this part before. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm a mess. Hey rat. Hey rat. Jesus, you're a freaky looking son of a bitch, ain't you? Rotate camera. Are you, are you kidding? It doesn't do shit. Rotate camera. I want to see what's going on! He's oh, he's killing something. I missed all of that because he wouldn't look. Okay folks, I'm really, really sorry about this, but I'm going to have to change the brightness. I think it's a little bit too dark. So, where are we? Yes, graphics and brightness. I put it a little bit too dark because that's the way I roll. And I think we're going to... Perhaps... What did I have it on? I had it on 28. Let's put it... Try it 30. No, oh, it's too fucking bright now. Yeah. 
34. Let's try 34, see what happens. I think that's too bright now. But we'll leave it on it because the shadows are a bit dark. Rotate um, left stick. Oh, left stick to. Yeah. I would have figured that out. I want the knife. I want the knife. You're not fucking knife. <laughs> Reminds me of the pirate ship all the time. There you go. How is it that he didn't hear a fucking bloke falling into a pool of blood and screaming, Arr! Okay, this might be a better place to uh, assess whether I've got it too bright or not. Okay, bear with me for one second. I, I swear this is the last time I'm fucking with it and then I'm going to go back into the game. And we're just going to play it regardless, right? See, this is what it should look like, but I don't really see any of that. That's what we should see. It says, please adjust the brightness so that the mark in the center is barely visible. Well, I didn't see any of that. I'm going to leave it at 38, I think. And that's what that's what we're gonna have it at 38, guys. Really sorry about that. Let's play the game. I'm thinking, do I want to fight the crazy guy that's got every motherfucker hung up like a piece of fucking pork? Like humans hung up? No, hell no. Let's have a little. Oh, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? He's not phased by that, he's probably used to it. Alright. Controls RB to sneak. Yes, we'll do that. Yeah, there's no need for me to even go up and talk to him. Let's get out of here. Man, guess the door's locked, huh? Locked. Shit. All right, you don't have to tell me it's locked. Stupid padlock symbol told me that. I was really digging the fact that there was no button prompts, and you just got to figure it out for yourself. And then, when you can't do it, it pops up a big fuck off button saying, "This button's stupid." I don't like that. Sorry, I don't like it. The rest of the game looks fucking awesome. Oh, I see keys. I see keys. I see keys. It's coming back. Grab the keys. Oh, it's coming. Ordinary, ordinary keys. The keys found on the mental hospital basement. These were the use before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Great. Give me the keys. Sneak the fuck out of there. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, shit. Fucking Jason's coming. Jason, leave me the fuck up. No! <laughs> Man! He didn't fucking hesitate. It's just like, what the hell? Okay, first little gameplay we had. I died. <laughs> you hear me? I died. <laughs> okay, so what you got? You gotta be ready to fucking. You gotta be ready to go. I like it. I like it. See, I pretty much gotta follow him. And I gotta be ready to go straight away. Oh, yeah. Take them in case. Yeah, okay, great. I need to watch that again. Taking this motherfucker. I kind of know that I gotta do that anyway because, you know, I put that comparison video out and this was the footage there. So I have seen that before, but... Have I got to pick the lock? That would have been interesting. 
Actually, it wouldn't have been interesting. I've got a key, but I've got to pick it. Can I shut the door behind me? Fuck it. Do I need to keep sneaking? Checkpoint. Sweet. Is he still there? Is it? No, he's gone. Where the fuck he's gone? I don't know. Yeah, so your footsteps are, are slightly lower when you're sneaking. It all looks like you want to look at it, but it looks fucking good. What? Shit, I think I just set off a tripwire. No! <laughs> now he's got a chainsaw, the fucking the hatchet worked before. What's run? What's run? What's run? What's run? He's automatically running. Oh man, that fucking hurt. Fuck! Hobbling my ass with a <laughs> go, go! Oh, what the frick? What the frick? Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Oh, thank fuck for that. Sliding in the shit, no! Ow! Mingin! Mingin! Fucking Mingin! Oh, this game's so dirty, it's beautiful. How am I even walking? Fuck a limp. He hit me with a chainsaw. That's not like getting hit with a bat. That's not, oh shit, that's like... You hit someone with a chainsaw, they got something missing. I could really do with a torch. No, don't get back on the ladder. Get out. Move. Oh my god, we're gonna go all the way down? A bit more gameplay interaction with the ladder would have been nice. I would say if you do get the opportunity, um, or if you do want to, I'd say definitely unlock the frame rate because in tighter areas like this, the 60 frames looks way better than the 30. In the big open areas, it's less than 60 and maybe not worth it. So I'm going to leave it as it is and we'll hope nothing bad happens. I think I set off a tripwire. It'd be interesting to know if you could actually get through that without setting off a tripwire. But Okay, I'm at a checkpoint. This is an item down here. Actually, you know, I've probably been missing things because it doesn't just pop up when you're next to something. I think it... Well, I don't know. Well, it looks like I don't know whether there's a health bar either. Oh, uh, God, it looks like I'm going to have to jump into this shit. So I've got, s my legs fucked up, I got hit with a fucking chainsaw, and i got to jump into this dirty black water. Yeah, that was a great plan. So tempted to go left, even though I know I've got to go right. Ah. <laughs> What is across the bridge? Anything in there? Hoping there's no tripwires or something. No. 
nothing. See, I do have the brightness turned down. You can't see, like, tripwires or anything like that, so I'm probably going to get fucked up this whole game. But it looks, it looks fucking great. The shadows are good. It's actually dark, you know? I mean, games should be dark if they're in dark places. It's one thing I, I think about Where Assassin's Creed. Who are you talking to? Where's the exit? The one thing about Assassin's Creed and Batman and things like that, like, they have day and night cycles, but the night is just like, it's as bright as the day. It's just got a different skybox on it. Should be dark. I actually use it as a mechanic. Old note from Sewer. <laughs> yes, Sewer, thank you for writing. It's been a long time since I last spoke to you. Beside the lock gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. Minus R. Thank you for minus R, old note from the sewer. Is there anywhere where I can... Not yet. I think it's got a good tutorial. And like... One thing that really pisses me off about games is when they load you with like a... Every, t every control straight away in one hit. Like you play for like three seconds and it's like, no, you gotta learn something new now. Tell me how to do something and then let me use it. That's the best way of learning. And th I think this has got a good tutorial so far. However, <laughs> I'm not doing so good so far. That that, that does lots. This door is locked. I knew it was, but is it locked with a key or can I break it? I don't have any weapons. That one's locked too. Now hold there, just make sure there's no tripwires or anything. Now, so what do we know so far? We know that we... We was on a call to... I think it was some kind of hospital or maybe an asylum. Everyone's dead, all kinds of fucked up. The doctor was on there, on the floor in the security room, I don't know why he was in that room. I looked at a ghost on the television screen and the ghost jumped out of the television screen, stabbed me in the back with some kind of injection, and then I ended up hung upside down in some kind of butcher's basement. I'm a police officer, and I'm just about to climb out of the sewer. Yeah, I'm digging it so far. <laughs> He's one tough son of a bitch, man. He got hit with that chainsaw and he's still going. I mean, he looks like he's in pain and all, but. It is limited and linear, but I, I don't really see that as a bad thing. Okay, boiler room notes. STEM system operation test begins. 15 minutes later, success, confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Losses minimal. Continuing experiment, agent collects the data. 15 minutes after that, anomaly occurs. Not with the subject. The sonographer scenogra claimed they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor orders the STEM system terminated. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't feel well <coughs> in the coma. Damn. Fifteen minutes after that, damn, what a lag of fifteen minutes, staff begin complaining of nausea and falling unconscious one after another. Those who still move plan their escape from the hospital, but uh, for unknown reasons are unable to. Through the STEM system, sh though the STEM system should have been deactivated, subjects maintain brainwave synchronization with the host. And the bottom says, 15 minutes after that, he, the man, appeared. That man appeared. Sorry about my reading. Very tired. Been at work all night. I've said that before, so I'm not going to say it again. Okay, yeah, I'm really trying not to make comparisons to Resident Evil. Because it's by the same game, and it's the same genre, and it's by the same, <laughs> same game. Same, it's by the same guy who made it. It's the same genre, 
it's got a very same look and feel control system, but I'm hoping it's got some quality, so we're gonna wait and judge it. All I want now really is a torch. There's some way to see in the dark. Yeah, so you know, there have been a lot of third person horrors. Dead Space, Silent Hill, Resident Evil series. This has got elements of them all. Okay, there's, a, there's an audio trigger there that's a bit weird. The thing about those bars is it really does make you look everywhere, but it, it helps you focus a bit more as well. I'm going to leave it on. I think it's pretty good so far. And I kind of like the way that the game doesn't necessarily make you look at shit and pick up shit that you wouldn't normally pick up. I still do it anyway because it's in my nature to do that with every video game, but it's not telling you to do that. It's just like, you don't need that, you just need to concentrate and get the fuck out of there. What? Oh my god. Can I get out? Oh, what the hell? He knows I'm in here. It's taking fucking forever. See, no, this is amnesia. Not amnesia, outlast, sorry. Look, tell me that ain't outlast. <laughs> Fuck off, you psycho. Leave me alone. You have plenty of fucking people hanging up upstairs. You don't need one more. I ain't gonna hurt no one. Fucking mad he is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it telling me to go about this way or what? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Shit, look at me bleeding all over the motherfucker. Like, why is he growling like that? Am I supposed to be coming this way or not? Where did he come from actually? Where did he come from? That's a good point because I've just come from the sewer. There was no other way, there was no locked doors or anything like that. Where the fuck did he come from? Oh shit, I see him. I know what you gotta do actually. Looks like you gotta sneak along that wall. Go on. Why are you busy looking around that wall? That room. Oh, wait, no job. Can't let him see me. Shit, Sherlock. You 
because of that video, I know exactly what I've got to do. I've got to get through that room, but... Okay, I'm ready to go. He's going to move forward in a second. Oh. Come on, nut job. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, go, go through there. Come on, go through there. That'll do, actually. Good little fucking weirdo. He's gonna see the blood trail that I'm making behind. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No! I got killed. I got fucked. <laughs> oh, I got fucked. I got fucked good and proper. That triggered from quite some some way away. Okay, fine. Okay, so when you get into that room, go left. Go on, piggy. Go, piggy. Go piggy. Let's just stop this fucking bleeding. It's dripping blood everywhere, man. You can't let him see me. Don't come down here. What are you? What the? What are you swinging at, Psycho? Go on, Tiny. Yeah, you're going all the way down. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. That's right, shit. You know what? Fuck. Hobbling in the back, no. Get out of there. Get out of there. This game is actually quite challenging. <laughs> I die like three times. In the first 45 minutes, I've actually died three times. Okay, my. I ain't fucking about with you now, man. You can't let him see me. I don't give a fuck if he sees me or not. I'm not going for it. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, that seems to have worked. Oh, fuck. Just... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, please. Oh no, oh no, oh no, just, just look at, oh no, come on, oh no, 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 keep going, no, no, come on, come on, oh yeah, the open front, oh, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, man. Is there a goddamn run button? Is there a goddamn run button? I mean, for fuck's sake, is there a run button? I think there is. At least there's a checkpoint there. Get up, for fuck's sake. Nine years. Come on, keep going. Oh my god, go on, get in there, get in there, you motherfucking! See you, Tiny! See you, Porky! Go fuck yourself! Oh. <laughs> okay, so this game isn't really scary in the slightest, but it is tense. It is tense, definitely tense. Twisting me around. There is nothing I can do. And this world doesn't span, it just turns itself. It really does have a nice movie feel to it. Can't fuck with that. Something, something unique, even if it's just like an aesthetic, it's still... Okay. Let's see, it seems to be walking better. Elevator ride seems to have done him some good. Right, we've been playing this for about... We've taken about the 10 minutes at the beginning, probably about 40 minutes. And I died maybe four or five times. In the fucking tutorial, and I didn't think the tutorial was over, so that's a good sign. Definitely a good sign. Uh, that was interesting. Okay, he seems to have recovered from his chainsaw wound rather quickly. Quite happy about that. Right, what, what the fuck is rattling the building for crying out loud? Huh? We're gonna get outside. What about my uh, my co my colleague? You still in here? No, nobody's in here. Kick it open, but slowly open it backwards. Right, I'm just going outside. Don't need to tell me twice. Get the fuck in. Go forward. I can. I can run to you. Go on. 
That's it, that's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just go. Good Bob, good job. Is this real? Is this really happening? Okay, so we've got the doctor. We've got some... Hey, where's Joseph? Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I waited, but... Uh... Please, settle down, Leslie. 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 Shit! There's no going back. Shit, so whole city regions moving on their own. Man. Good job, bro. I'm not sure this is really happening. I, I think the guy's insane. I think my character is insane. Can I drive? No one's gonna mind. Damn it. Are we cut off from everyone? Everyone must be dead. Everyone alright back there? Just a few bumps, we're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. Oh shit, fine. ghosts in the back? Fine. Fine. Yeah, you're a nut job, fine. dude. Fine. We're crazy, by the way. Fine. Fine. Fall! Fall! He's just don't look like. What's going on there? Oh my god, what happened to him? Look out! Fall! 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 Whoa! Shot to one clear, look. Oh my god, that has to be a fucking dream or something. Like, how the hell are we gonna jump off a goddamn cliff? We're in a fucking ambulance, five of us all fucked up, drives all messed up, and live. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. But that first chapter, chapter one, very enjoyable. And surprisingly challenging. Um, I know that there are harder modes that you can unlock once you finish this game, and it's gonna be interesting. Now, I, I, when I was sneaking about and trying to pro it, didn't work. When I had a little bit of cojones and I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to go for it, got away. So I think that's what this game is definitely trying to push. It's working towards maybe even speedruns, but just like giving you a bit of a feeling of power in a horror game, which is a bit weird, but it works. It was fun. But that was the, the first hour of the game for you, folks. And... Um, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so, I can see me playing a lot of this over the next couple of weeks. And uh, as soon as it's done, I'll bring you a full review. But if you like what you see, and you like horror games, and you like Shinzumi Mikami, like I'm sure you all do if you are watching this, and you don't already have this game, I can safely say that I think you're going to like it. But I need to play more of it because haven't really unlocked any, haven't really done anything bar movement, you know, movement and hiding in a cupboard, so I do need to play a bit more of it. But that is the end of this uh, Darkest Hour. Um, as soon as I finish the game, I'll bring you a first review and probably um, an impressions 
of uh, of this first hour, quick sum up. But until then, you've been watching the Darkest Hour, and I've been part of the scribe. And I will see you very soon.